Hello, everyone. Good morning and welcome to Purdue University for the 2017 Regional Rube Goldberg Machine Contest, hosted by the Purdue Engineering Student Council. The Rube Goldberg Machine Contest honors the memory of its namesake, Reuben Lucius Goldberg. Rube Goldberg, as he was known, was a Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist, best known for his nutty chain reaction inventions. The popularity of these cartoons made him a cultural touchstone, an adjective in Merriam-Webster's dictionary and a term that today is invoked daily in American media. A Rube Goldberg machine is an overly complex contraption designed with humor and a narrative to accomplish a simple task. The Rube Goldberg Machine Contest, RGMC, is an annual international competition that challenges teams of students from middle school to college age to compete in building the most elaborate and hilarious Rube Goldberg machine. This year, we are excited to host 10 exceptional teams, five Division II high school teams, and five Division III collegiate level teams. We have teams representing Purdue University, the University of Illinois, Iowa State University, and a number of high schools. We are excited to see the results of all of their hard work and hear the creative stories behind their fantastic machines. We are very excited to see the Rube Goldberg machines at work. It is nearly time to begin today's competition. Before we begin, however, we'd like to review the competition guidelines. The rules are, of Rube are as follows. Each team's machine must complete this year's simple task, applying a Band-Aid. The machine must have a minimum of 20 steps and a maximum of 75 steps. The machine must run for no more than two minutes per run. A penalty will be assessed for any human intervention on a machine in motion. Teams will have eight minutes to reset their machines for a second run. Judging will be done on a 100-point basis by our four judges and two referees. This year, we'll have the collegiate and high school competitions running separately. We'll start with the high school teams and move on down the line to the college teams. To keep the action moving, teams will present the first run of their machine and then have the reset period while the next team goes. We will begin the second round of demonstrations after all teams have completed their first round. In accordance with the rules set by the National Rube Goldberg Contest, the top scoring Division II team and the top scoring Division III team at today's contest will be eligible to advance to the finals this April. Now, you are going to see some incredible machines that illustrate just how creative our students can be applying a Band-Aid. So without further ado, let's meet this year's teams and their machines. And next up, we have Anderson High School. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Roy Thomas. This is Leisha, and this is Haley. And today, we're going to show you our Rubemation Rube Goldberg machine. Help, guys! Madeline fell, and my mom's going to kill me if she gets blood on her dress. Can you get me a Band-Aid, please? I think we can help you, and we know just the way. I'll spell it from A to Z. I think the first thing we should do is pull back this blue swing. And when we let go, it'll hit this clothespin that'll let go of an orange string, setting our rocking horse into motion. It'll hit these two boxes of juice. And when that happens, it'll pull down this yellow string that'll swing our doll around like a tether ball. When she hits the frisbee, it'll let go of another red string. And that'll send a domino effect up to the top of the slide. The slide will have a ball at the top that'll roll down a zigzag pattern and hit a wedge. But I'm not sure what should happen after that. I think after the wedge, the, uh, there should be a jar with baking soda and vinegar. The baking soda will fill over and it will cause an eruption that goes through a tube that uh, inflates the balloon. The balloon will then inflate, uh, will cause the mug to go up that has little tiny BBs in it that hook onto a magnet that causes the magnet to fall down. The magnet then causes the hammer to fall onto the switch. But what happens next? Well, I think after that, after it rotates, the switch will hit the purple block, sending electricity to our fan underneath this plastic bag. As the bag inflates, it'll tip over this block and a metal ball will fall from it. 
The metal ball will then swing and hit the back of a blue car. The car can roll down the ramp. When it hits the magnet at the end, it'll tip over the finger. And as the merry-go-round continues to rotate, it'll hit this lever down. That lever will send our teeter-totter into motion. Once it's up at the top, a marble will roll down the zigzag pattern. It'll roll onto the marble track. It'll go down and hit our mouse trap. When the mouse trap triggers, It'll pull the orange string that pulls a metal ball down. It'll bring down with it each of the plastic beads. And at the end of the beads, we have a washer that'll fall. It has a fishing line to it that'll pull out our straw. And it'll drop the fly swatter and apply a Band-Aid to Madeline. Yay, let's help Madeline. And now we have the second trial for Anderson High School. everyone. We hope you enjoyed your break. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. The judges have completed their deliberations and we're ready to announce today's Rube Goldberg Collegiate Local Contest and High School Local Contest winners. In accordance with the rules set by the National Rube Goldberg Contest, the top scoring Division II team and the top score Division III team at today's contest will be eligible to advance to the finals this April. Before announcing the winners, we want to thank the teams for all of their hard work in designing such impressive, entertaining machines. Thank you once again to all of our spectators for coming and making this event such a success. Finally. <laughs> Finally, we would like to thank you, our corporate sponsors, GM and Nucor, and all of our judges. Please join me in giving them one last final round of applause. I will start by presenting the high school winners. If you could all hold your applause until the last uh, winner has been announced, that'd be great. Thank you. So in third place for high school is the Homestead High School. 
In second place, Coots High School. And in first place, we have Anderson High School. Congratulations to all teams on a job well done. This concludes today's competition. You are welcome to stay around and visit with the team members and examine the machines more closely. We appreciate all of you coming and have a great weekend.